My dear students, welcome back, but this time, another video about grammar. Of course, we should know why we uh, learn a grammar. Actually, to speak and write English correctly, because the easiest definition of the word the grammar is how to put words together correctly. So, learning grammar is very useful and it's easy at the same time. Again, grammar helps you speak and write English correctly. As you know, we have four units during the second term. We are going to revise them uh, quickly, as quick as we can. Unit five, if you can remember, we talked about Yes, excellent. Future simple. Be going to future continuous and future perfect. Right? These are the four points or the, or the four grammar points mentioned in Unit 5. When we study grammar, we have to learn two things, as I have told you before. Number one, the form of the verb, and when I use it, when I speak or write English. Future, simple. What's the form of the verb? Yes, well, plus infinitive. This is the form. When I use it, what are the situations in which I say I will travel, I will clean my room. What are the situations in which I use this form of the verb? Be going to, of course, the form is am, is, are, going to, plus infinitive. Future continuous. Yes, who can tell me? Well, well, plus be, plus verb plus ing. And the future perfect, who can remind me of the form of the verb in the future perfect? Yes, of course, well, plus have, plus past participle. Number two, when I use this form of verbs, very quickly, and you have grammar book and student book, where you can find the grammar chart, the situations or the usages of each a grammar point, you have to study them very well many times, please, my dear students. Please don't forget that. Read the grammar chart of each grammar lesson many times, as many as you can, actually. But now I'm going to remind you very quickly about the usages of well, for example. Future simple. Well plus infinitive. As you can remember, we use well for different situations. Number one, warning. I'm sure that everyone knows that, and you can remember that easily. Warnings, threats, promise, offer, request, prediction with no evidence, and promise, okay? Be going to, we use it for two things, prediction based on evidence, and future plans, intentions, so these, these are the situations in which we can use future simple, which is well plus infinitive or be going to plus infinitive. You have to check that, please. Use the grammar book and the student book, the grammar chart, read it very well. Uh, unit six, the grammar of unit six, if you can remember, we talked about gerunds which is verb plus ing, used as a noun, and full infinitive. Again and again, in this lesson, of course, first we should understand the grammar rule, but sometimes we have to keep and memorize the verbs that followed by gerund and uh, verbs or phrases that followed by full infinitive. Full infinitive means to 
plus infinitive. And we have bear infinitive, which means verb in infinitive without to, after modal verbs like I will play. So play is bear infinitive. I decide to play. So to play is full infinitive. Of course, in this lesson, uh, as I have just told you, you have to know the verbs that followed by gerunds or when I use gerunds. As, as you can remember, let's remember together. Number one, we use gerund as the beginning of the sentence, like reading is a useful hobby. As an object, I like collecting stamps. After prepositions, she's interested in drawing. After verb go to show activities, I go swimming every or each summer, okay? And there are some verbs that should be followed by gerund like enjoy, uh, mind or don't mind, look forward to, don't forget that, look forward to, should be followed by ing, not full infinitive. And uh, on the other hand, the full infinitive, we use it after certain verbs, like afford, plan, decide, and so on. You have to keep that, please. In this unit, in lesson two exactly, unit six, lesson two, we talked about verbs that can take either gerund or full infinitive with no difference in meaning, like start, begin, continue. If you said, I started studying at seven last night, or I started to study. I started studying, I started to study, no difference in meaning. But some crazy verbs or other verbs that we get different meaning. If the same verb is followed by a gerund or full infinitive, like I remembered meeting Mr. Jack at the mall last week, or I remembered to meet my friend at the airport. Different meanings here. In unit seven, we talked about modal verbs. like can, must, could, may, might, and so on. Of course, modal verbs in English can't give you full meaning by themselves. They need another verb. Also, we don't have different conjugations of these verbs. I mean can, we, we use it in present or future. But regular verbs like play, we have play, played, and so on. But we don't have different conjugations of modal verbs. And they are followed by uh, infinitive, uh, ber infinitive, okay? And we talked about also have to, has to, and had to, to talk about necessity. In unit eight, of course, you can remember that in unit eight, we talked about passive. And in the grammar chart regarding the passive, in the grammar chart, he says why we use passive in English. As you know, when we don't know who does or did the action, like the milk has been spelt on the floor, we don't know who do that. Or when the subject or the door of the action is obvious, for example, thieves are caught every day. So who catch thieves every day? Police. So it's obvious to know the subject. Number three, when the, the verb is more important than the subject or who does or did the, the action. For example, the sculpture is cleaned every day. Okay, we don't care about who cleans the sculpture, but the action itself is more important. Don't forget that each tense in English has a structure in order to change it from passive sorry, from active to passive. For example, Jack plays tennis on Fridays. Which tense is this? It's a present simple. So we have a specific structure to change the sentence in the present active into passive. We start with, yes, object, which is tennis. And then, yes, M is R, so tennis is, in the past participle of the given verb in the active sentence, tennis is played 
by Jack on Fridays. So if we have a, se a tense in the past, the rule of the passive should be different, must be different. Okay, my dear students, so it was just a quick revision of the content of the grammar in uh, uh, the four units. Now let's have some questions to refresh our minds and remember these grammar points. Unit 5. Unit 5 again, what are the grammar points mentioned in Unit 5? Future simple, which is well plus infinitive. And be going to, in lesson 1, Unit 5, then grammar, Unit 5, lesson 2, which is future continuous. And the last part of Unit 5 was future perfect. There is space be a training program for employees. My dear students, please read the example given many times. Hold down your horse. Take your time before you answer. This is really important. Reading carefully is essential before you answer. There is space B. So they're going to, of course, we have to exclude this option because there we don't have M is R before going to, so we can't say they're going to. There will be, there isn't going, we don't have to, so the correct answer, it's obvious to be well. There will be a training program for employees. Em employees means workers or staff, a staff of workers. The courses on Friday mornings, again the courses will to, we don't use to after well. Will be is going to be. Be careful. Is here needs singular subject before at, but here we have s. That's why I say it's advisable to read the sentence very well. Anything in the exam, my dear students, read it very carefully before you start answering it or to answer. Start to answer or answering with no difference. Start can take either full infinitive or gerund with no difference in meaning. So the correct answer, it's clear to be, will be. The courses will be on Friday mornings. Number three, I probably, you know that when we have probably, possibly, perhaps, believe, hope, bet, think, well, or want, of course. I probably won't attend that university. Attend means go or to be present, attend an occasion to be there in this occasion. Are you, of course, this is easy. Without reading the rest of the options, are you going to climb? And here I'm asking about someone's future plan. No, I going, of course, want is not the correct option. I am not the same thing, so I am not going to travel the world just yet. Don't forget the situations in which we use the future simple again. Promise, request, offer, threat, warning, future prediction with no evidence, and future opinion. Check that please in the grammar chart in your two boxes, grammar box and student box. Now let's move on to another exercise. Of course, this type of questions actually are advanced, needs high level of concentration. I have decided that I space to, uh, sorry, study for the Spanish test all week. When I have, have decided, we use be going to. And uh, of course, I have told you before that when I say I have decided, so I use be going to here. But when I say I have or he has, I have just decided, here we use well plus infinitive, and this is called a quick decision or decision we make at the moment of speaking or on spot decision as native speakers say. So I have decided be going to. If you want, I help you. I will. This is offer. Have you decided again the same thing? If you are going to use the listening tape, ta tapes, yes, of course, it's got to use them. Do you think? Here we have think, so we should use 
Well, not if you study a lot. Don't worry, Mary. I'm sure. Also, we have sure here. We use well. Okay. Thank you for very much. Let's move on to the next type of questions. Future continuous. Complete the dialogue with using the future continuous of the verbs in brackets. When we use a future continuous, to see that some, something will be in progress at a stated time in the future, what does it mean? Tomorrow, if you want to study from 5 to 8, for example, tomorrow. So, at 6, should I say, I will do my homework, or I will study, or I'm going to study, or I will be doing my homework, or I will be studying. Of course, the action here, at this stated time, specific time will be going on which means in progress is still or will be going on so here i should say i will be doing my homework at sex tomorrow because you spend three hours so at six the action will be in progress and this is the usage of the future continues here we want to complete the spaces with the correct form of the verbs between brackets using future continuous, which is well be plus ing. Welcome to our school today. I to very to, uh, to, tall about his plan to climb. I will be talking. That's right. Will be talking. And the rest of the questions, the same thing except for here and here because it's a question so well comes first will you be climbing so it's important when you answer to read the question or to read the sentence to know whether it's a statement negative is it a question with yes or no question or definitely it's a question you should know the type of the sentence this is really important and again you have to read very carefully Okay, so the rest is the same thing. Use the future continuous. Now let's move on to the third lesson in unit five, which is future perfect. When we use a future perfect to say that an action will be finished before a specific time in the future. For example, when I say, I will have done my homework by 5 p.m. today or tomorrow whatever I will have done it means before it's 5 maybe 4 45 450 before 5 the action will be completed this is the meaning of future perfect so you go home at 3, your mom makes lunch at 6, so you say, I will have returned home before my mom cooks lunch. And be careful here with this example, I will have returned home, and this will happen first, will be completed first, before my mother, be careful here we should use the present simple with the second action so present perfect for something that will be completed or finished first and the second should be in the present simple my mother cocks our mothers cock and so on here the same thing write or complete the sentences or write the sentences or questions using the words use the future Perfect, so I can say will have done, won't have done, or in the question, will plus subject plus have and past participle. Number one, who would like to answer yes? Bob, finish. What is the correct form of finish in the future perfect? 
what we need yes well have past participle so Bob will have finished school by June and you know that by here means before the action will be completed before that time before a stated or specific time in the future okay this is a future perfect again you have to read the grammar chart about the future perfect in both your grammar book and your student book now let's move on to unit 6 verbs with to and gerund or gerund and full infinitive again again and over again in this lesson you have to memorize you have to keep the verbs that followed by gerund expressions followed by gerund or full infinitive this is mentioned again in the grammar chart in your student book or your grammar book okay we have a text here and we have to choose a correct answer to work or working with plants is a fascinating job here we start the sentence with yes correct during working with plants is a fascinating job since i was a child i have been interested in we have a preposition here so we should use the gerund I'm interested in collecting now that I'm a scientist I have managed verb manage should follow by what during the full infinitive yes to discover this summer I plan the same thing verb plan takes ing or full infinitive you have to keep that you have to go and check in your book plan to explore which has many different plant species i hope of course verb hope also should be followed by full infinitive another exercise about our lesson exercise b the words in bold are wrong write the correct infinitive or gerund i enjoy work on scientific experiments of course after enjoy we need ing so the answer should be working i sometimes try helping my brother with his homework here i should say i sometimes try to help spend at the beginning we should use gerund so the answer should be spending i have decided to become oh after two we need base form not past became in the past we should say become okay number five we all need to do excellent let's move on to another exercise okay mike was delighted be careful gh are silent letters here we, uh, mike was delighted that she had won several gold medals after verb to be an adjective we need full infinitive if you want to know about famous people try about them in magazines try reading remember try plus ing used for suggestions please stop remember that after stop we can use two plus infinitive or ing in this case which one is correct let's read please stop space the sculptures you will damage them of course ing i want you to stop it not stop another thing to do another thing like i stopped my car to buy water for example lisa is used be careful my dear students when used to is preceded by m is or are was where and get after two we need gerund laser is used to locking be careful if we don't have is the answer should be to lock i will never forget space my favorite actor in that cafe last year should i say i will never forget 
to see or seeing? Yes, seeing, of course, is a correct answer because an action that happened in the past. And uh, I won't say that I still remember and I can recall the situation from the past and describe it. Now, six, stop a volcano while traveling. While traveling means while they were traveling by car or something and they stopped to do another thing. In this case, we need full infinitive. Will you remember to ask Mary if she's coming to the museum tomorrow? The same meaning if I say, don't forget to ask Mary if she's coming to the museum tomorrow. So the action before it happens, we use remember plus full infinitive. The scientist went on to space about his remarkable discovery, went on to talk or talk. I remember the man's show on TV when I was a child. Again, here I recall a memory or something from the past to talk about it. So we use remember plus during I remember watching. Paul was happy. Again, like the first one, verb to be plus adjective, we need full infinitive. So the correct answer is uh, Paul's happy to go. Next exercise, but this time about unit seven, model verbs. Again, you have to read the grammar chart about all lessons in all units. We use can and could for many different situations in English. To ask for permission, to give permission, to ask someone to do something for you politely with could, or to ask someone to do some, something for you with can, and both are used for ability in present or in the past. You have to check that and revise that at home place. Was able to, or were able to, as you know, we can't say that they equal to could, because was or were able to for specific situations, not general ability in the past, like could. I, wa I was a great runner, so it was normal to me. I was a great runner when I was 12. This is the key answer, my dear, my dear students, this is a hint. When I was uh, 12, I could. Why wasn't able? Because we don't have to. Emma space, and this is not a specific situation, general ability in the past, because he was a great runner. It was easy for him to run six kilometers. Emma, you call in at the supermarket later today. So can you call in? This is a request. Call in, and can you go to the supermarket? Even though Mark had a bad headache last night, and this is a specific situation, he, of course, was able, was able to go to sleep. Thomas is only five years old. His space go to the gym until he is older. So this is lack of ability. So he can't. The woman didn't make it to hospitals. She didn't go. So the doctors, of course, couldn't save here. And here we can say the doctors weren't able to save here. A negative couldn't is like wasn't or weren't able to, but in statement, positive statement, could does mean was or were able to because could refers to general ability in the past, something that was normal for me to do, something I used to do, but was or were able to specific situation like that. Now circle correct words and we can move to another one Julie has been taking yoga classes for years now she must really like it we use must when we are sure that something is correct okay uh, if one of your brothers like tennis and when you find a rocket on the table you say uh, must be Ahmed's rocket because he likes tennis. So we use must plus infinitive to say that you are sure that something is correct. And can't also when you are sure that something is not true. 
I know I might start taking classes, but I haven't decided yet. This is why I have it chosen might. Well, I may be taking an extra. After subject, we need may and be. Verb one and verb two in the infinitive. But the yoga class might keep you, uh, you from becoming stressed. It could happen. But I'm sure it can't be good to take too many uh, classes. Our dog is enormous, and enormous means very big or huge. She go on a diet. Have, we can't use have with he or she or at, but I use I have to, we have to, they have to, my brothers have to. We use have to for necessity. When we don't have the option not to do something, but we have one option, which is to do something. It's called necessity. It's important for you to do something. So here, the correct answer is she has to. Don't forget your box. You mustn't leave them. So you are not allowed, the same meaning, when I say you are not allowed to leave your box here again, so you mustn't. When you are, aren't allowed to do something, when something gets banned, uh, prohibited, okay, we use mustn't. Space takes this yoga class tonight. We don't use oat in the question, but we use should we. Use space exercise every day of the week. It isn't necessary or necessary, so you don't have to. If the subject where he, we should say he doesn't have to. Michael space to stop watching so much TV. We have to hear, so we can't use must and we can't use short because posts are followed by bare infinitive, a verb without to. But we have to hear, so we can say O2. Excellent students, as usual. Now, unit, let's move on to unit eight, the last one, passive voice. The words in bold are wrong, write the correct words, please again. You have to study from your course copy book, okay, in which you uh, have written the examples with your teachers in, inside the classroom and the structure of each tense. We have present simple passive, present continuous passive, present perfect passive, past perfect, past continuous, past simple, Model verbs plus P plus past participle. You have to check all of these structures, please. A new movie is, we have now here, which is present continuous. So I say is P or is, yes, is being. That's right. Music CDs can be, again, we need past participle after verb to be. What is the past participle of talk? Yes, take, talk, taken. And don't forget page 121 in your grammar book where you can find the different conjugation of the irregular English verbs. The concert was enjoy, of course not, was enjoyed. The songs were right, no, were written. In the exam, you may have different ways to ask you about the passive. For example, when I say Rudaina has cleaned her room. He may say change into passive or he may say buy. Okay? In both cases you have to change this active sentence into passive. To say what? The room Rodain has cleaned the room, so the room, what is the passive structure of the uh, present perfect? The room has been cleaned by Rodain. Or he may ask you to complete with the correct form. Or, yes, and this is important, because he may give you a statement, he may give you a question. So again, please write the questions very carefully before you answer, dear students, this is the end of the video. Thank you for your time. I hope you found it useful. Goodbye.